Show report. Any mom or dad will tell you having a critically ill child is one of our biggest fears. But a special lab at Children's Hospital is making one of the most delicate of procedures, those of the heart, safer for kids and comforting for parents. Abigail Torres has struggled all her life. She was born with an underdeveloped heart. It was missing chambers and had quarter-sized holes. She needed open heart surgery at just two weeks old and has had countless doctor's appointments, tests and x-rays ever since. Now six, Abby is getting ready to go into the cardiac catheterization or cath lab. At any time we come to the doctor, we're just expecting for him to say something's not wrong with, something's wrong with her. Abby needs a pulmonary angioplasty. Doctors will insert a long, thin tube into her blood vessel and use it to inflate a balloon in a spot where her arteries are narrowing. It's restricting blood flow to her lungs, making her heart work overtime. We have faith in God that, you know, that he will help her, help her clean through this. And faith in Dr. Carl Awada, who performed Abby's first cath lab procedure a couple of years ago. He does half of all the procedures here, using some of the newest technology available. The monitors show better quality images, and patients are exposed to much less radiation from the x-rays. It was mission critical, absolutely. Um, without this kind of a facility and the support staff that go along with it, I could not perform the things that take care of the kids that uh, that need care here locally. On this day, Abigail is the only patient scheduled to come into the cath lab. Last year alone, the people here at Children's Hospital performed 237 procedures here. The great thing is some of these patients, after they're done, can leave the hospital within a day or two. And one of the great joys in, in doing these procedures on kids is their recovery is immediate. And as soon as they're feeling good, they're up out of bed and running around, whereas adults or lying in bed, complaining and moaning and groaning. But first, time to get Abby ready. Mom and dad aren't allowed to go into the lab, so it's the staff who comforts the scared little girl and preps her for Dr. Awada. With the wires in his hand, Dr. Awada stands in front of a bank of monitors. Some show images of Abby's blood vessels and heart. Others monitor her vitals as he threads the catheter to the exact place it needs to go. Three hours later, success. The Torres is amazed at their little girl's strength and her spirit. Even though she's small and she doesn't know, she keeps fighting. She's a fighter. Yeah. The cath lab is also taking part in ongoing clinical trials for two devices used to repair heart defects. The results could lead to better treatments of patients young and not as young around the world. In the studio, Zara Arboleta, CBS 47 Eyewitness.